Welcome to the Up and Nerd Podcast. I'm your host, Kyle, along with my cinema co host, Dan and Greg. Your reminders for the day. <laughs> yeah, we barely made it. It's all Kyle's fault. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Throw me under the bus, why don't you? I mean, yeah, no. We're sitting here and I'm like, where is it? It's seven o'clock? Where the heck is he? Yeah, at? I'm, I got distracted. Obviously. So. Um, what is that foot? What is that peanut butter and chocolate? Yes, it is. When is it not? <laughs> when is it not? So apparently, the actors for Wednesday, Jenna Ortega. Yep, Jenna Ortega. I was gonna say Jennifer Ortega, but it's Jenna Ortega. Jenna Ortega. I never read her name. I just know. <sighs> apparently, at some point, she had a wardrobe malfunction. Uh huh. Who cares? People tried to make it a thing. Who cares? And that's what she's. Where was it? My, where, my, where was this at? Who, who, who cares? Where was this at? Where Who was cares? where was it's this just on the news? In what? In what? Where was this? Where was this? Scream at? Wednesday. Uh, no, no, it was like some kind of thing. She was like, you know, like the red carpet kind of thing. She was at some no event. One cares. Yeah. This is a, well. This is a, it's not like anybody. It's not like it was a Super Bowl and Justin Timberlake ripped her dress off and she got to stu- stu- yeah. her nude. It, who, who cares? Yeah. I'm just saying. Um, the reason why I brought it up is she made a comment about it. She's like. Who cares? Like exactly. I'm, I'm with you, Jenna. She's, she's like I'm with you, Jenna. She's like Ortega. so what? Who cares? It happens. Who cares? Okay. You, you, <laughs> in 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 summary, you didn't have to mention it. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, Unnecessary. Do you guys have any uh, news? <laughs> I don't know. We haven't looked up to see what Ezra <laughs> Miller's doing lately. But. <laughs> really not news. I know. I'm surprised you open up with an Ezra. Miller. I didn't see anything for him yet. I I'm I'm really shocked. With uh, <laughs> there's Scream Six. Um. When we uh, saw, all yeah, the original cast is coming back for the scream. Um, oh gosh, <laughs> so yes, who cares? I do, I know you guys do. Maybe if I don't, I'm, I honestly, I was never a big scream fan. No, they the first one, was I like fine. scary movie. I love scary movies. <laughs> I love, I, I love, number two is the best by far. One and okay. two were the best, yes. And What's the one where you had the zombie with the, the girl, the late girl with the bag on her head? Two is that two? two. Yes, <laughs> when he puts the oh, bag yeah, on yeah. her head, yeah, and yes, yep. We're in the basement, and at the end, what was that? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> we need to split up. Young, say that all the time. <laughs> It was like everyone go and then just left the two yeah. African American characters well, let's behind. Let's teams. All right, you're right. You, you, and you, you come you, with me. You, you, <laughs> you, 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 and you are team A. Come with me. You, Ray and you, uh, you, you Ray and Nicole. Team you're yeah. team B. No, it was Shorty, Ray, and, and, and Nicole. They were team B. We're all gonna die. We all gonna die. <laughs> I like the part where the skeleton chasing him down the hallway. She's like, "There's a monster." She's like. Cindy, there ain't no monster. That's a skeleton. skeleton. <laughs> it's just bones. And then she like rips his head off. Yeah, right. <laughs> I love it. Sid, we're both going to die. It would have been just you if you would have shut up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, and then three was bad. Uh, three was three was bad, but it wasn't as horrible as, as four, five, as and six. Four, yeah, correct. Like, or all the other spoof movies they made after that. Wayne's Bros. Left. It got horrible. 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 It would turn into. They trash. tried way too hard. Yeah, I mean, once the Wayne's Bros. Left, it turned into garbage. Yeah. So, um, other than that, I don't. There wasn't really too anything exciting with news wise. No. Um, it was a very calm week. Yeah. Two weeks. Calm. Two weeks. Um. Oh, they're talking about rebooting the Harry Potter franchise. How do you? I don't think you can. Honestly, I, I, it's I, not I, a good idea. I, yeah, no, I don't think. You, I don't think you that can. is not a good idea. Not, at all. not in a good way. No, no, no. The, the actors they got were perfect for what they did. Right. I, I just don't think that you can actually recast. And is there anybody going to be better than Daniel Radcliffe? No, no, no. I don't even like the films that much, but it lo- he does look just like Harry Potter. Yeah, correct, and. <laughs> The rest of them look like the characters. The characters supposed to be. they're supposed to be like it's a perfect casting. Like I don't understand. They like, can't reboot it because they want to make money. They already have theme parks and stuff. She didn't need another billion dollars. It's not necessary. Well, she's not getting the money. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she's, she's getting part she's of it. Getting, she's she, getting money from the name, but she's not getting. Yeah, quite like, a bit though. Yeah, right. yeah, still quite a bit. Like, like I said, she's already a billionaire. She doesn't need to be another right. whatever. Um, and that whole Hogwarts I mean, I, legacy thing is always amazing to me. 
The game was awesome. I heard. Well, they tried to boycott it, but that didn't work. I heard. Well, that wasn't gonna happen. That wasn't gonna succeed. I didn't think so either. I was like, I heard that the game is really good. Actually, it is. It is awesome. It looks decent. It's really good. Um, although you guys already know my criticism of the entire world, so whatever. It's fine. Yeah. Um, I heard that on the inside. I mean, I don't know. I I just think Emma Watson, Danny Radcliffe. Yeah, there's. I just. I I don't. I don't think you beat that cast. I just don't. Yeah. Where'd you hear that from, anyway? Uh, it was going around, like, here and there, just, like, small... Was this, like, a fan thing they were hoping to no, do? No, no, it's, like... I'm trying to look on Screen Rant. I don't think it was on Screen Rant. I think it was, like, Otaku, but you can't really trust what they have to say half the time because it's usually agenda-based, so I should, like, stop looking at that. Oh, WB Stokes Harry Potter reboot rumors during an investor conference. Yeah, there we go. So on okay. CBR.com. That's it. Um, Indiana Jones 5. No! What is he, when are they gonna? What are they gonna? Well, we were against the Indiana Jones with Shia LaBeouf. I, I like. Well, that. it's it's back to Harrison Ford. Well, it's there was a pro- Well, Ford. the problem is, were they gonna have him be Indiana Jones until he's a bag of bones, literally? <laughs> like he's just a, he's like a dead guy in a body bag. Is that what we're going for? I think so. But you he's know, like it's eight. Better than, it's better than Shia LaBeouf. Shia. Shia LaBeouf. Who cares what his name is? Do it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the last terrible movie I saw him in was where he played John McEnroe, and he was nothing like John McEnroe. Yeah, um, I didn't. I didn't see that one. You don't have. You, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't, it's fine. Don't worry about it. You don't need to see it. Um, we have the Super Mario movie coming up. Too. I was going to say, is it Mario is, movies coming out? Is that a that's a cartoon, right? Yes. Yeah, it's three D. Thank, I mean. thank goodness. I, I like how a lot of people are complaining about the. I it looked at, they're, they're complaining about the, about Chris Pratt's voice in it. It's, it's, they're like, oh, it's not like the games. Do you know how annoying? Like, it's a me Mario would be and so the high be annoying. It would be, <laughs> yeah, right. It would be so annoying. It also for a, an hour and a half. It also hours. so shows you how there's always a little slight racism in any Japanese game. Yeah, right. Like, <laughs> it would be so no, like, seriously. Like if we do, any at, Italian people talk like that? No, never, I don't no, think never. so. No, but like it's it, you know how annoying that voice would be for an hour and a half, two hours. Oh yeah, it, it would be annoying. The princess, yeah, yeah, yeah right. Luigi. So, like they gave him a decent, normal Italian guy voice. I haven't even heard it. So it, it's not bad. It's more like Brooklyn Italian, you know, like he's from Brooklyn. It's not. It's not even like. It's it's Chris Pratt doing Chris Pratt. Voice. No, it's a little bit. He's got a little bit of accent I, to it, I, but it's not like horrible though. Like it's not like. This like insane. Look, as long as it's not live action, I'm fine. Right. <laughs> I would no, like live it's, action. It's, no, it's cartoon. No, I love live like, action. You, you like the original we, John Leguizamo yeah, as Luigi? Yeah, yeah. You liked we it? Had oh, the live do not, do not. I love that the movie. I don't, of course you did. You like you like Velocipaster. Yeah, so. I sure do. <laughs> oh. Velocipaster. Velocipaster. What else is coming out here soon? Um, the D and D movie. Yeah, oh, yeah, you, we're gonna go see that with you. Does any one of us get to skip out on that? Since you skipped, I, me. <laughs> you can skip out wherever you want. Skip out on that one. That's my skip. <laughs> well, you know, everybody gets ten. You know what? You, you know what? <laughs> yeah, right. everybody gets one. No, Dan's get ten because he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna skip out at least ten. Well, because I don't like horror movies for one thing. Well, that's fine. Uh, Cocaine Bear wasn't a horror movie. I didn't want to. <laughs> The thing is, I already knew what it was going to be about Listen, before I even yeah, saw so, it. So did we. And you know what? It was hilarious. It was good. It was hilarious. Cocaine uh, what can I say? I have a bad Cocaine attitude. Cocaine Bear was freaking hilarious. You're a negative Nancy. I know, right? But he's complaining about me skipping on D&D. No, I didn't. Go, I, I'm not, I, didn't, I wasn't complaining about that. No, he gave you the free go. You can, go, you can skip out on whatever you want. Uh, we it's have none of my business. Shazam. I actually heard it's getting good reviews. Yeah, well. Mm. So I don't like who who is the villain lady, the old lady in it? It's I don't know who she is. What's I, her name? I, I've, I've, Helen Mirren? That's who plays her, but I don't know who the villain is. Like, mm-hmm. I don't they're like she's a goddess of some So sort. they're saying that they're kind of playing off the first one. I know how the first one was kind of like jokey and fun. Yeah. They're saying the second one's kind of the same way. Yeah, well. Mm. Yeah, well. Mm. What do you want him to do? Turn into some super serious movie? Well, no. He has to make it a little more serious, though, because he's grown, getting older. Yeah, that's the you whole know what I mean. He's like, he's he's supposed to be like a little kid, and the first movie's about him. He's really res- 
kind of irresponsible with powers at first, and he's like, and at the end he showed like, hey, literally, I mean, they can because literally they can do that and still have fun with it. Literally yeah. in the comics, I mean, but I'm just worried. I mean, look gonna... at Deadpool. Deadpool's not yeah, but, at all. But that's the that's what Deadpool is. is. Yes, the way Shazam was written was like the first part of his thing, like before when he before he really learned the responsibility, but he was just messing around with powers, and then he's like. Oh, well, he still messes around, and but he doesn't. He to make sure he does the job right first. Yeah, you know, and that's what I'm worried about. Is they're going to go too far into? He's too worried about fooling around because there has to be some. And sort then have of, to relearn the same lesson over. Again. Basically, and you guys worry a lot, don't you? Yeah, I'm not. You guys, you guys worry a lot about these comic. I'm not worried. You guys worry a lot about these comic book movies. It's it really like, really strikes me like weird. It's nice. odd to me. <laughs> hey, whatever. Everyone odd. has their thing. Yeah, you get <laughs> you, guess, you were I guess. you were so. What we you were very adamant about them ruining a couple movies last year. What uh, Halloween ends, which they did. They did end because they, <laughs> they ruined the second one, so yeah. they ruined the third one. Yeah. Okay. So and then you were also give me another example. It. It too. They ruined it. Yes, they did. That, I'm they, just they saying you were worried about they, it, they and then they did. Did they, did they ruin it? Yes. They, okay. I'm not okay. Worried. And I'm worried they're going to ruin this, okay. and they're probably going to ruin it. You guys think they're going to ruin? I can't really. Book story. I can't really say I'm worried about it. It's more like I'd like it to be a certain way. And I'm not confident they're going to do it. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> they're not going to do it just. It's not like I'm going, oh, well, I'm crying to my, into my pillow at night because it's Shazam. I mean, I'm, th- I, I mean I'm going to tell you I'm not, but I am. <laughs> I wasn't and to, I wasn't worried that they were going to ruin chapter two of it. I was excited about it because the first one was really yeah. good. When, I don't know. I was, when I watched the second one, I was disappointed because it was crap. But I was excited for the second one. I thought this said Mulan horror movie. No, when, when they have way no, poop, blood, and honey. So. Yeah, it threw me off for a second. When you first look at it, it looks like Mulan. It does. Um, Dungeons um, and Dragons is March 31st. Mm-hmm. But I was excited about Chapter 2. Yeah. Because the, the first one was really good. And then once I watched Chapter 2, I was very disappointed. Oh, trust me. I was there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if... If you, if you could punch the act the main dudes in the face, you would have. But the the problem is they were all Blood good actors. Chocolate. Like James McAvoy is a good actor. They had a great bunch like, of great actors. Yeah, right. And it just it was and like we talked about before, it was a big case of big budget. Right. Renfeld. Renfeld is one I definitely. Renfeld. Seen. Oh yeah, that's one of the, that that's uh, drag the drag. Yeah, Nicholas Cage's drag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh boy, Dan, are you gonna skip on that one? <laughs> so, oh boy, it looks like a comedy though. I don't like Nicolas Cage. Oh, neither do I, to be honest with you. But it looks like it's gonna be. If funny. he fell off a cliff and died, it wouldn't, you know, make me sad. It looks like it's gonna be funny though. It looks that's, like, the, that's the only. I would never push him. I just thing, wanted. I that's just the only thing be, that draws me into it. It looks like it might be. Because his last movie, the one where. It, Talks about how awesome he is. And oh, the one where his greatest fan it happens to be yeah, a drug it's like dealer. Nicholas Cage playing Nicholas Cage. Cage. Right? Yeah, right. And doing him like in Evil Dead Rises. That's I, I, that's, that's a skip for Dan. Yeah, that's a skip for Dan. Which one? Evil, Evil Dead, Dead Rise. Rises. It's a horror movie. Yep, yeah, straight that's, horror. That's not, we know you're skipping. That. That's not even much of a horror movie, is it? Uh, the the reboots were the reboots were 100. percent Yeah, this isn't this isn't like. The original yeah, Evil Dead is way yeah, better. No, this isn't really yes, because they were jokey. Yeah. I like that. I like no, the. They, they went to like a serious comedy, uh, like serious horror. That's lame. <laughs> yeah, they went to a serious horror of it. I don't like it. It's not the Ash and the Evil Dead. You don't like anything, Dad. You're dead. I like Army of Darkness. I like Evil Regular Evil Dead. Yes, I do too. Well, yeah, because they're they're hokey and they're funny and they're awesome. Yeah. It's like a haunted house. They were, cr- they were scary in their parts too. Like no, they weren't. Yes, they were. No, they, they kind of startled you a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah, but they weren't scared. Like, the part, the, my favorite part at the end of the first one was when he's in that rocking chair and he's like, ah! Yeah, right. Everything's yeah. happening. I'm like, it sounds like a haunted house to me, but I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, it's not scary, though. It's hokey. Uh, well, this is all way. The Boogeyman, they're rebooting that. They're redoing the Boogeyman? Yeah, I say we saw that when we were like 2003, right? The one well, I don't know about two thousand three. It, it was like two thousand seven, two thousand eight. We might. It was, we were still in high, high school. school. We were still in high school because we were like, this doesn't make any sense because all of a sudden he went back in time and kind of was like the ghost of himself talking to himself as a kid. It was really weird. Oh, here's one that I'm going to watch. Two thousand five. All right, so that was the boogeyman. So we're in between. Um, Transformers. 
Rise of Beast. Rise of Beast. Yeah. I'm gonna go watch it. Well, I might watch that. I, yeah. I didn't. I did like. So I like the originals with Shia LaBeouf. The one. The with first. Mark, the Mark. One with Mark Wahlberg is not bad. Yeah. Um, the dinosaur one. Yeah. Which one's the dinosaur one? The the like, fifth one. The, the fourth the one, one with Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, the fourth one after the Shia oh. LaBeouf left and Megan Fox left. Yeah. What what. I, I do like the Mark Wahlberg ones as far as like it does it's not Shia it's not Shia LaBeouf and some soup, some model yeah, right. and they're <laughs> falling off and down. they're falling off buildings and somehow not dying but all the guys who are super trained for it like get fall off cliffs right. all the time they, they, <laughs> they fall off the curb in the street and just instantly die well, what was the the, the last one, one the last Shia LaBeouf one was the one where. He had like a blonde girlfriend in that one. Yeah. And he was working for this one evil corporation. Yeah. And they kept the buildings were literally falling over and he's getting away with it. <laughs> no lucky shrapnel hits, nothing. He's not even wearing body armor. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> there were there was Transformers. Yep. And then there was Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Because cause in the Mark Wahlberg one, it's mostly like floating platforms mm, yes. all over the place. And then there was Transformers um, Dark of the Moon. I think Not that was I like one, that, that one. That was one with, with Shia LaBeouf and the blonde. I do like the I like the villain in that one. And then there was uh, that the Mark Wahlberg one was Transformers Age of Extinction. That's it. <laughs> they that, did not do Grimlock justice. And then there was one more. And then there's a King Arthur one. There's the the last night, yeah. With Anthony Hopkins. It's Transformers: The Last Night. And Anthony Hopkins has the best parts in all the, the whole movie. Because and then after that, they did a spinoff. They did Bumblebee in 2018, which didn't make sense. And uh, now there's going to be Rise of the Beast, mm. which, which is Optimus Prime. I didn't see Bumblebee. It was okay. It was okay. The problem with it was John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> he was bad in that. <laughs> But you can't see him. <laughs> <laughs> we wish, right? I like Dan's face. Like, there was no expression. Just so much hate in his eyes for me. And you're just like... Uh... We wish. <laughs> we wish we couldn't see him. So... He's not a good actor. He's... He's in good certain things. Yeah, he's good as Peacemaker. Literally, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because he's a goof, a goofball yeah, idiot. Right. Which is what he is. I didn't even like the Marine. I didn't. Because his normal I sense of humor. that movie, the Marine with him. Because his normal sense of humor. I think the part that did it made sense. It just didn't make sense. And I think that's the part. That his normal sense of humor on like interviews is like a goofball kind of thing, and that's what the Peacemaker is. Right. So he plays himself basically, kind of like the Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne Johnson's the same thing. It's right. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. Well, I, the Rock is good in some movies. Like he tr- I loved him in Jumanji. Like, yeah, that was good. And the, the, both Jumanji movies are really good. Yeah, I like him. In I films. will give you that. Wait. I was actually not expecting to like those, but then they were like decent. And I'm like these are actually really good. I was, yeah. I was I, giving I, I, him I, I, pretending I, I, he's Danny DeVito. Yeah, yeah. Smoldering <laughs> intensity. He's like, what's smoldering intensity? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. He's like, are you having a stroke? <laughs> 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 Looks like you're having a stroke. It's, I like both Jumanji movies. Um, he was good in uh, The Rundown. I like yeah. that. That was a good movie. Well, how did... How was... Um, what's his name? Who's who's the black guy in, in Jumanji? I forget his stupid name, man. Uh, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. He's like, I'm some sort of muscular... Yeah. <laughs> Let's actually, go to dwarf. Kevin Hart's actually pretty good. I I actually like a lot of Kevin Hart movies. He's good in both Jumanji's. Um, get smart. Get smart is is hilarious. not get smart. That's uh, get hard. Get hard. That's it. Yeah. That's hilarious. Um, what's the one where he goes with Ice Cube? Where he's a police rider. He goes ride along. Ride, ride along. That's, that was good. That's a good movie. So he's in some good movies. Yeah. So yeah. He was also on Soul Plane. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Yes, he was in Soul Plane. He sure was. Every black actor in the universe was in that movie. <laughs> I didn't see Soul Plane. No, it was, it was, it was, it's kind of goofy. It's really goofy, but it's, it's funny. It's one of those um, a new age black exploitation film where it's just everybody like they do everything. Snoop Dogg's the you, pilot, isn't he? The pilot? The, it's, it's a movie called The Blackening. It looks hilarious. No, is Snoop Dogg the pilot in that? Show? Yes, yes, he's the pilot <laughs> in Soul Plane. <laughs> Um, there's a movie called The Black Ending. It looks hilarious. It's kind of like a spoof on, like, you know how, like, the old saying is, like, the black person dies in every horror movie first. And now they're doing it the opposite way. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's like a whole. It, it makes fun of all that. Mm. Those stereotypes and everything about black black actors like they die first in movies and it makes fun of the whole the 2022 you know, them split, film you know, them splitting up and going by themselves like we were talking about with yeah. the scary movie it makes fun of all of that it looks hilarious yeah i'm looking at it right here the black thing yeah 2022 have, yeah you have to watch you'll have to watch the, the trailer but it's it's hilarious yeah it, it's almost like a saw ripoff oh my god but gosh. a comedy version of it <sighs> listen I know this is going to be awesome for me, but can we seriously next year for February go through some of the old black exploitation films? Check I don't mind that. As in what? Like uh I've only, Dracula, I've only Black Mummy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I've oh, literally yeah. only seen one of them all the way, now it's Dolomite. Dolomite. <laughs> Dolomite. Dolomite, yes. Dolomite. Oh my I god, showed. Dolomite is awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. I've seen- I've seen Blackula. Blackula. Like, don't talk little... about the, Black... the old one. Yeah. Yeah. Not the Eddie Murphy one. Yeah, not the new oh, one. Right. No, we're I talking about the 60 ones old. where he looks like Dracula, like the old, like, giant cape and everything. And he has, and the, he has the wig. The wig. Oh, there's, just, there's another one where he just has the regular haircut, too. But <laughs> there's more than one. <laughs> I'm fairly confident. I would confident. love to, I have to look that, that up. Yeah, we can do that. Because... Let's do it in February. Yeah, that's why I said it next February. <laughs> like, it's... Because for me, I feel like those were important African American history. Like, yes, they were, are you. They were called black movies, but they were always directed by African American directors. There's two, and it was a way as a. It was like a. It was almost like a peaceful protest. Like they took all the protest. That's what it was. It was, <laughs> it was really to just set off. Do you know what like, you just said? Preschool protest. Yeah. Oh, it's preschool protest. Yeah. Yeah, preschool. Yeah. How dare you let our kids <laughs> to almost not school? Not you, him. I mean, I, oh no, I didn't. I didn't say it. I know you didn't. Sorry, um, peaceful protest because it was a way to actually annoy a lot of the white. I, no, workers. I get it. It was really, it was clever. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't care. We can we can watch some of them. No, care. that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I that, is, that is a little terrible. But it was also the 60s, so at the time it was... 72. 72. Oh, so first one was Black Yellow was in 72, and Black Yellow 2 was in 73. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I don't uh, care. We can watch Good them. times. I'm sure some of them are probably better than... Some of the stuff some we've some seen lately. crap we've watched. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, um, other than that, uh, we watched Cocaine Bear. Cocaine Bear is hilarious. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the bear. So, so I, I know you didn't watch it, obviously, because you didn't come with us, jerk. Um, <laughs> Take that, Dad. <laughs> the gauntlet has been laid. So, oh, my, oh, my sensitive feelings. Well, you know Defend thy honor. Well, you know what? I can't, I can't say any certain words in here. Um, so, um, you, know what I like? I, I, you know what I like about Cocaine Bear is it, it starts right from the beginning. There's like no... They don't try to do this crappy backstory from the beginning where it leads into like a storyline. Yeah, right. They're like trying to draw it they're, out. They're pretty much like you've seen the title. This is it. This is where well, we're. Well, it going. took like that five and, minutes of the two I, being in the woods know, together. I mean, maybe five minutes, and that's it. It gets right back. It but gets before they get yeah, to that five right, minutes yeah, of little it, calm, they get into it. There's just the dude dancing around, right. <laughs> throwing cocaine bags yeah. out of the plane. Yeah. They just like they get into it. There's like no dancing around it. Like this is what it, this movie is. Here's where we're going, and that's what I like about it. Like, yeah. There's no like thirty minutes, forty minutes <laughs> of getting into it. But bears can't climb trees. Of course they can climb trees. Of course they can climb trees. Well, why are you in the tree then? <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh, there's so many. he does the line off the dead guy's leg. That <laughs> it's so up. weird. The part where she shoots the guy, yeah, the she, bear. So I almost lost it when I was in the theater. When it happened. <laughs> I, I I almost lost it. So um, did you know the guy who played Dolomite was actually a comedian? Yeah, I didn't know that. You didn't know that? I didn't know that. Oh, well, now we learned. You didn't know that. <laughs> Because Dolomite's really, really straight-faced about it. Yeah. I thought the guy was maybe a regular actor. I don't know. Like a dramatic actor of some yeah. kind. Makes me want to watch Black Dynamite again. Apparently there's an Eddie Murphy movie where he plays Rudy Ray Moore, though. I don't, I don't know. The that. guy who played Dolomite. 
it's like a biopic about them. But oh, you see, they're coming out with a uh, Beverly Hills Cop Four. Uh, it's going to be rated R, though. That's good. They're not they're not dumbing it down to a PG thirteen. And I guess the plot, from what I read, is um, his daughter gets into trouble, which makes Axel Foley come back to Beverly Hills to try and, like... Save the day. Yeah, right. Save the day. Yeah, so... Yeah, Beverly Hills Cop 4 is... Actually, from what I heard, it's done shooting there in production right now. Nice. I was going to say, the first one was rated R. The second one was rated R. They're all rated R. I thought the third one wasn't. When, when the, in the no, in the Funland? I don't think it is. At it. I think they're all rated R. But, uh... Yeah, Cocaine Bear was just straight good fun. Cocaine Bear, yeah, right. Cocaine Bear is hilarious. It was just a straight good fun movie. Um, so, Dan, have you been keeping up with a? He's ahead of us. He's ahead he's of one us. episode ahead of us. Yeah. Okay, copy. We're, know, we're I, missed, I, I did miss half of seven. Yeah, he he skipped out about. To where me and you started losing interest in the episode when they were doing all the backstory and started getting oh, really yeah, right. tedious. I kind of got, I kissed the end when she got infected, but that's about it. Yeah, you missed like a whole five minutes after that. There's, there's nothing after that. Oh, there's, oh yeah, three is rated R. There's literally nothing after that. Yeah, they're all rated R. That's what I, I just don't I remember seeing were, anything really rated. that was rated R ish. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know, but I thought, well, he curses a lot. I think that's yeah, why they put enough. it in. I don't know, I think that's why they put it rated R. Yeah. Um, you didn't miss nothing after that then. There's like literally nothing after that. Mm. So they like they both get bit. Um, and they sit there and she gives she's like, We got two options, we can take the easy way out. She pulls her gun out, you know, obviously insinuating that they can kill themselves. And then uh she says option two is we can just ride it out and obviously become infected together and you know, this and that. And that's, where, and that's where it ends. Yeah, that's pretty. It. That's, yeah. that's where it ends. That's it was a very lackluster. And then it, she flashes back. She flashes back to the future where she's taking care of Joel, and she stitches him up while he's laying there, uh, and that's the end of the show. So, so uh, we didn't get to watch the last episode because you know I asked a certain someone if he went to watch one episode last night, and one today. He told me no. I did. And then he thought we could watch both today. And well, we couldn't. I wasn't expecting to be. At my, <laughs> well, part of it is part of it's my fault because I got stuck behind at work. I left work twenty five minutes late. You are look, Kyle. And then when I got home, look, there's no excuse. there's no excuses. You claim to want to be the alpha of this group, so you got to be in charge. But you're not in charge, so obviously you're not. All right, I guess. I'm gonna have to. All right, so we're gonna be down a co-host because I'm gonna have to fight Dan to the death now in the parking lot. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't bring nothing. I'll just run. <laughs> I don't live that far. <laughs> so yeah, we're one episode, but, and that's the last episode, uh, right? We're one. The last episode that we didn't watch is is it? There's one more episode left, apparently. There, there's there's an episode nine. There is. is. I think so. Yeah, sure. because it'd be really weird where they left. Because I asked them where they left off at the end of it, just to let me know. see. Let me look it up. Because if they did leave it there, it's going to be really awkward. I don't think that they're going to follow the games to the point, Kyle. Well, no the. They would have to like it makes no sense for them not to follow to the the point where they would end it. Like, oh yeah, it is nine. It says how many episodes in the last was nine. Okay, so there's, there's one more. One. Thank God. Because <laughs> it, it'd just be a really awkward. Because then they. That's oh, yeah, a really yeah. weird number to me though. Like why it is. Why, well, why Wednesday was nine episodes. You, yeah, but why do you went? And I probably I probably said it at Wednesday. Yeah, too. you did. It's a very weird. It's number. probably they, not it's probably they des- it's, it's probably they decided on what the story was going to be, and then they figured out that they don't need ten episodes for it. Right. Probably that's a dumb thing I can guess. But anyway, I just think it's a weird number. Episode eight is just the, yeah, but I'm also okay with weird numbers comparatively to the where they try to do the super long last episode where it's two parts and it's technically nine and ten. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 I get that. So like. Okay, so sweet. So, so I heard that episode eight, is, like I said, I have a buddy. It is way better than this episode. I heard, that, I heard that episode eight follows the game to a T. Pretty close. I don't know. I haven't watched it. <laughs> well, no, I know. I'm just saying. Like I, I, I know what happened to the game. Well, I heard it hurts. When I, I was talking to Kyle, I told him kind of what happened. He goes, oh, that's just like the game. That's just like the game. 
The only difference apparently is there's a interrogation scene where Joel like tortures two guys. Okay. And they slightly change it, but not enough for it to matter. Right. Yeah, I like I heard from somebody at work, he played the game, he watches the show and he was like Epi- the episode 8 is pretty much to a T the game. It sounds like they are um, they probably have another wedding thing up there, so it's probably, um, what do we refer to it when we're at the shop? Oh, a herd of rhinos dancing around upstairs. That's what it sounds like upstairs. Yeah. That's literally well, what it sounds like. <laughs> like, they're rolling rollers. Like, it yeah, sounds like they have, bad. like, those big rollers on them. Yeah, like, trust me, the, the one time, there was a large woman <laughs> out, up there. Wait, and she fell, and then they're rolling her on the ground. Yeah. She wore those really big, st- like, she had, like, six-inch heels on, and you could hear everywhere she stepped, because you knew it was her, compared to me to everybody else at that wedding. <laughs> so, um, how do we feel about Last of Us so far? I, 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 didn't, I didn't play the game, so... I kind of, I only seen a little bit of it, so... Of the game? Yeah, we, he was playing, we hung out a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, all right, all right. Um, for me, I didn't. I really liked when it. He, when, he, when I'm hanging at the house, he starts putting games on. I, that's when I leave. I, that's why I figure. <laughs> bl- or you just blank out. Yeah, right. Yeah, or I just go into my own little world. So, as far as I'm concerned, it's really good. I think episode seven did was kind of a waste episode. It was not good. It just apparently it's based on a, a DLC of some kind. Yes. Yeah. Which so I didn't know that, but it's, uh, it's, so the whole, Kyle explained the it whole to backstory. Me Ellie came out almost a year later after the game as DLC, mm-hmm. and it explained and that you know what happened to her, how she originally got bit and found out she was immune, and that she was lesbian. Like those were the. Right. Those are the key points of the entire DLC is right. to establish that she was Well, like win. this episode was so predictable. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it was just it was just so it was just so predictable. Yeah. Like like I called it like oh, okay, this is where she's gonna get bit and find out that she's immune and yep. you know, like, like, then I, I knew that this was you know like, like well, here's the thing after you if after a DLC comes out and it's a prequel, you knew what was gonna happen too. But people were paying oh, yeah, thirty right. dollars for it. Right. Um so yeah, the DLC like the DLC just really established that Ellie was into women yep. and that she was immune and that she killed her first love because they both got bit. So right. she killed her. Yeah. Well obviously because she's gonna turn. Yeah, so like so you um, know, I don't think that needed to be a thirty dollar DLC. <laughs> no, not at all. Well it didn't even need to be an episode either. They could have just said no, that, yeah, and then it, in it, season yeah, two or three, when she meets yeah. somebody new, could, she has a like problems a connecting. Back, a flashback, right? right. Yeah, like a, like a freak. make it more emotionally resonant yeah. if there's a new person involved. I agree with you. You know um, what I mean? So, so that's my opinion. We didn't get into it. What would you rank? Um, we're jumping off topic here. Cocaine Bear. Where would you rank it? Oh, it's it's up there for this year. So it's a it's a seven eight out of ten. So I think I think the reason you didn't want to watch it is this is kind of the same reason that she didn't want to watch it. She thought it was going to be like that Kyle hokey. No no no, I knew it was going to be hokey. I just did what it was. I'm just tired of it. No, but like it's not like it, it is hokey, but it's not. It's not as bad. It's it, not Kyle hokey. It's that like fun, where it needs to It's be. like that fun hokey. You know what I mean? It's kind of like it's almost like a scary movie, hokey. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like I got that, you. Like they have fun with it. It's not like he's a loss of pastor, dollars. hokey. It's it's that like it's a serious movie, but a fun movie at the same time. And so, like that's where Kyle and I can meet in the middle. But one where I can't meet Kyle is where he wants to watch stupid crap, like you know, like so yeah. That's his movie. It, yes. yes. Yeah. It's, it's Assume, a movie. It's listen, a, it, yes. listen. Oh, it's a stupid <laughs> movie on Netflix. Look no, it up. Netflix. It's, it's garbage. It's prime. It's, it's prime. Whatever. It's it literally is. a serial killer dies on his chair, <laughs> his reclining chair, it's and then. Dumb. So it's another possessed. Yeah, yeah, it's his spirit possessed. It, and the chair goes on a murder so rampage. So it's like Chucky, but with a sofa. Yes. Yeah. And the it's one dumb. scene is literally there's a recliner pushing a dead body into a dumpster. <laughs> It's not like Sharknado and that crap. Sharknado was pretty funny. It's the first dumb. one. The first one, anyway. They're all dumb. 
they're all dumb, but sometimes they're funny. And I also find it funny that Ian Ziering's still around. Yes. The nine, one of the 91210 guys? Yeah. He's still around somehow. Yeah, it was made in 2019. How did that sofa. happen? Killer Sofa. Oh, yeah, I remember that picture. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it. I think Kyle probably showed me. His eyes, too. <laughs> Yeah, Kyle showed me you that You know picture. what the funny part about the picture is? It's not even a freaking sofa. It's a recliner. Yeah, they're... they're I think... The... <laughs> so dumb. It, well, the description is two detectives find themselves battling their own demons when a girl enchants a killer reclining chair. That yeah, begins why is it called killer sofa? It's a recliner. Whoever Bernie Rao is, he obviously doesn't know the difference between sofa and recliner. <laughs> He's a, he's a director. So, by the so way. Cocaine Bear is not as dumb as that. It is like that scary movie, funny. That it's like a serious but still funny movie. It, so, yeah. I like how they turned to do like the happy ending thing too at the end, with the bear family looking down. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Or the, at the end, with the, <laughs> the nature people are video camming and they give her a look. Hey, did you hear? I seen um, another off-topic thing because like my brain's jumping all over. Oh, that's fine because we have to eat up some time anyways because the episode seven of Last, so Last of Us is really we, boring, we talked so. about this before, and I know I know you don't like horror movies. Um, Robert England has came out and said that if they wanted him to do one more, one more Night at Mayor on Elm Street, he would do one more. So that's kind of an in, of an interesting. Development, because at, he at first he was like, absolutely not. I don't want to do another one. I'm o- I'm over Freddy. Don't want nothing to do with him anymore. Yeah. You got you guys need to move on. And now all of a sudden he's like, I'll do one more. If you want one more, you How want about, one, you now, want what one do you more Freddy. I'll do one more. Do Freddy. you think it's artistic integrity or them bills starting to pile up? I, I, them bills are probably <laughs> starting to pile. Up. <laughs> <laughs> them bills are probably starting to pile. Because there's only so many co- yeah. comic cons he can yeah. do and yeah, right. movie cons that them, he, those bills are probably starting to pile up, but. He really wants Kevin Bacon to take over his role. I think Kevin Bacon would be a great Freddy. Yeah. Here's a, here's one about a possessed tire <laughs> called Rubber. There's so many, <laughs> so many dumb movies. Kai, have you watched Rubber yet? No. 2000, 2010. It's up your alley. Yeah, it's it's going to be on the alley. list. What's it on? It's probably just a guy throwing a tire down a road. What's it on? <laughs> Somebody kills him. What's it on? What's it on? You got to let him know. Oh, well, you can watch it on YouTube for free. I don't know if it's actually anything else. I don't care. YouTube for free. I can do that at work tomorrow. You're free. That's all you heard. That's at work tomorrow. Yeah. Earning my pay. <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> let you know. Yeah, well, that'll probably be what I'm doing tomorrow, too, to be honest with you. The March, the end of March special. <laughs> the entire, so the I was, entire rundown of Rubber, the movie. Uh, yeah. I was told to watch a, a show called, um, as a, it was suggested to me, I think I asked you this last night, Silicon Valley. Yes, you asked me about that. I just don't see you liking it. No? No. Somebody told me it was, like, funny, but, like, every time I look at, like, the... Well, the one, uh, the one what was it, uh, it seems Chinese like, guy? He's super sadistic in that. Yeah. He's awesome. To me, it seems like... I, now, I haven't watched it, and so I can't really compare it, but it, when I, every time I look at like highlights of it, it reminds me of The, the Office. Yeah. And I don't, it, I cannot stand it. It's the, not like The Office. I cannot not really. stand The Office. It's not like The Office because it's not as weird. It's, it's, not like, it's not like that. Uh, it's not like super bizarre, oh, okay. random, whatever. All right. They're it's really, more like they're, they're a startup, and some of the people are uh, think they're smarter than other people. Okay. And then all right. they keep putting each other down all the time. Okay, yeah. Because and the one engineer is my favorite character. He's like, "Why do you have a computer in a in a on a refrigerator? Because so we can look at see what's in there." He goes, "Why don't you do what I do? Just have a glass door." <laughs> what? Yeah, they're they're like trying to reprogram a smart fridge for like a whole episode. Oh, all right, okay. And I, that, that, now that makes sense. Okay. And that like there's a camera in there, so you can mm-hmm. see inside. And he's mm-hmm. like, "Why don't you just do what I do?" Yeah, right. All right, you I got can you. see inside without any of that. I, I don't. Know and he and his and he then then his whole mission was to screw with their smart refrigerator. Okay. So he just reprogrammed it, so it kept like swearing at him so, and so like, making him sound stupid and everything. So like the guy at work showed me one sketch where the one guy apparently he was adopted out. He was adopted. 
but he was a, he was his his birth family gave him up for adoption. <laughs> he comes back to me his original family, and was, he's like talking to him, and they're like, "Oh yeah, your older sister." And he's like, "Oh, oh, I have, I have an older sibling." And they're like, "Yeah." And they're like, "He's like, oh, so you you just decided to give me up?" And they're like, "Well, technically, you have a younger sibling too. We just decided to give you up." And <laughs> <laughs> Like, it was like really like awkward. It was like oh, so you gave this middle child up and not the youngest child. And they're like the youngest child has his name too. And they're like, oh yeah, we just decided we like that name a lot. So they gave the youngest child his name as well. So it's the exact same name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. They both have like they're both both their names are like Joel or something. Uh, so it, it was kind of funny to me. So I was like, oh, I might look at it then. Give it a shot. Right. And there's an episode where you find out the one character is not technically supposed to be he, in America because he's Canadian. Oh, so like he's like, a, and like they, they, they like, they, and then like they make a big deal because the one character is from India and he had to go through his jump all through his hoops. First green card and card. what the Canadian guy did is went to the embassy, went to the embassy, came back the same day, got a green card. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the point of it was. I'm just saying that they make certain people jump through hoops and not others. Mm -hmm. is what it was. So I did see this and I forgot to put it in the uh, movie suggestions. Um, uh, Dan, have you watched any of the newer like 3D Resident Evil stuff at all? Where they do the... That's a no. What 3D Resident Evil stuff? Like um, the movies, like the them coming out. For the last couple of years, that would be a no. That is definitely a no. absolutely not. Why would I watch? They're actually even movies because they're good. Look, your idea of good is no, like they're just straight good, like better than the Mila Jovovich. I, I agree with that. <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> Whatever Greg was doing, I agree with it. <laughs> Let's be not specific about that. Because. Uh... Shut up. <laughs> I, just, I agree with that. Shut up. So they they made an announcement for a new one coming out this year, and it looks. There's really another good. one. Uh, How many are we going to have? No, the 3D one. Are these animated I ones? Listen, I don't care if they're 3D, 2D, 4D. Are they going to suck or are they going to be? good? No, they've all been good. All the all the actual ones. Because all they did was take like the game models. And actually do like a full movie through them, so they, it's not stupid. It's it follows. So it's not Raccoon City. No, God no. <laughs> Giant seven foot tall Albert Wesker. Look, the Mila Jovovich ones weren't good after like maybe the third one. Yeah. Third what's the one? Was... What's the one where they had like a huge amount of clones in the beginning? That was the fourth one. one. So probably the third one's the last good one. So there's like what six more after that or whatever. So there's <laughs> not nah, eight. There's eight. Oh, sorry, I was too off. After eight. that, no, there's four total. Four after. Oh, so no, five. There's five. five. There's five after that. Yeah. There's, there's eight total, right? There's eight total. There's so three after. good ones, five terrible ones. Yes. Great. And the third one was pushing the border. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the first one's the best one. Uh, yeah, I maybe, like the second maybe the second is the second one's with what's his, what's that thing called? Nemesis. Nemesis. I'd say the first one's better though. First one's definitely better because it was more. The second one was more. Look at all the hot action ladies kick butt kind of thing and mm. prey on that. Where the first one was more like you know government conspiracy. I didn't play the games. I read the books. So I don't know how close the books are to the games. They're basically the same. Yeah, they're pretty close. Like they? yeah. Because you don't really make there's not a lot, there's no like branch storyline really it's like most um, of the, time. the second book you know where they're on that island yep. the, yep. that never happened in any of the game jack okay. so I'm actually looking forward to hopefully they make a game uh, about that one because it right. was interesting um, but a lot of the main core ones that were there right? plus there's that, and all that plus there. plus there's like what three or four other weird games that are like off plot what was that one playthrough you were watching of some it was like a an island, but it was like snowy, or well, that was the one he's talking about. The island, where they're on the island, and well, that's the new movie. Yeah, that's no, like uh, it's like a super old game, or maybe I'm thinking of a mountain place where there's like a hidden facility or some stuff, oh, and it was like a terrible game. I forget what it was called. There's a couple of those, but yeah, Is it, it was Charles. No, like 
<laughs> Resident Evil, whatever, something. I can't think of it. There's quite a few. There's a. Uh... There's quite a few. Yeah, I know. It was like a PlayStation game. I forget what it's called. Never mind. Yeah. Forget I said anything. I'll, I'll, I'll try to remember what it was. But, um... Choo Choo Charlie. Choo <laughs> Choo Charlie. I gotta finish that. I just Are like... Are not done with it? I never played the second stream. I was gonna do a second stream and I just never got around to it. Oh, I thought you were done with it. No. Well, the only good parts are you screaming like a girl. <laughs> um, the, what about the, yeah, about the spider come popping out of nowhere? Yeah. 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 <laughs> then you going, you suck. <laughs> Because that was Dan's exact response. I screamed, died, and got silent for like a half second. You go, you suck. <laughs> you suck. Now you're doing all right. I'm just um, if I could find them, I actually think I think you'd really like the uh, 3D movies because they're actually just good. They They don't really veer too far off the games. They're not relying on too much. They're just... Good Resident Evil movies. Because I was super against them at first, and then I was like, you know what? These don't suck. These don't suck. Mandalorian 3 comes out. I know. You're excited about it? He's got a lot of work. work. Pascal's got a lot of work. He's the new hotness right now. He is, really. Yeah. um, I forgot that he's actually in Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. He was really good in Game of Thrones. He was. I guess he was like a. And And he got his head squished. (laughs) <laughs> his head squished. Well, he had he was a duel with his big guy who killed his sister. Oh, in, in the oh yeah, he was the and he poisoned and, and he yeah. and he and he poisoned the guy and he ends up dying and then comes back as an undead thing later. But then the guy gets him in a he's like huge and he basically he basically puts his thumbs through his face. Yeah, it's really bad. Where, where do we think that Mandalorian is coming? Is gonna, gonna be? Go. Yeah, I think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna be as good as the first season. Do you think so? I think season two. Like obviously, the first season, Luke comes in and he takes Grogu, Grogu away. Do you think? How do you think he gets Grogu back? Well, we saw that in season two. Oh yeah, you're right. With the space mopeds, it's not really season two. It's Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Yeah, right. right. Which I, uh, I don't. Is that worth it? (laughs) Yes. I liked. I I did like because I I like certain parts of it. The guy playing Boba Fett seems like. Like mailing it in a little bit. Yeah, he the is. Original both of them. Well, I know that, but he looks like he doesn't really get care anymore. I, I feel like it's his last hurrah. He's like, I'm mailing this yeah, in. I don't feel like doing it. this anymore. I'm done. This is my last hurrah. <laughs> you can definitely hurrah, tell they yeah. handed him a nice size paycheck. Because right? <laughs> he's not in shape by any means. Yeah. But he's also how old? He's got to be. He's in his 50s. Yeah. Pushing 60s. 50s? I bet he's in his 60s. Pushing oh. 70s. Let's find out. How old is Harrison Ford? 70s. That's what I mean. He's got to be close to that. No, he's, no, he's not. That guy's younger than... The they, guy who played Boba Fett's younger than... The, free, the Clone Wars... The, the Phantom Menace came out in 99, so... Yeah. And he was... Yeah, as you say, the, 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 the Harrison Ford thing... There, you got him. How old is he? Oh, he's, 60, he's 63 years old. Yeah, he's pretty handsome. I said he's pushing 70. <laughs> He's not why, why do you guys think he's some like forty year old? Look, I didn't say that. But Harrison Ford's. Yeah, you know, I didn't even say anything. Why are you? Why are you lumping me in with him? <laughs> <laughs> I know we don't listen to each other, but jeez. <laughs> so like, there's a few people like uh, Pascal's getting a lot of work right now. Mm-hmm. That Jonathan Majors is getting a lot of work right now I too. Love it. Oh man. We What's just talked about him. Lovecraft Country. Oh, Creed, yeah. Okay. Creed. He's he's yeah, 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 okay. He's getting Sorry, a, my... He's, like, he's getting a lot of work right now. Harrison like, Ford's 80. I told you. Is he that old? He's 80. He was, thir- like, 35 when he got Star Wars. How old is, uh... Um... Oh. Mark Hamill. How old is Mark Hamill? Like, 50s. He, he was, he's 60-something. At least. Yeah, Mark Hamill was a He was player. like mid-20s, so he's like 10 years younger. He might be 70. Mark actually. Hamill was 71. 71, yeah, pretty close. I was pretty close. 71. Yeah. Boba Fett was the youngest of them all in that movie. Dang. Yeah. Well, he wasn't he was the real the, Boba Fett. He was, yeah, yeah. The, well, in the, in the original movies, that wasn't who played him. Oh, I thought that was the original. No, 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 no. He played in the prequels. Yeah, the, the Clone Wars. Because the original guy's voice was just a straight American accent, basically. Yeah. There's some guy. Who played the original Boba Fett? Let's see. I forget his name, but 
It was some dude. Because he didn't have anything but to wear the costume. He Jeremy didn't. Bullock. He's yeah. 75. Yeah. So, this guy. Old Boba Fett. This guy. Yeah. Generic white guy. Some old white dude. <laughs> <laughs> some old white guy. Yeah. Some old white dude. Let's see what Rizian is. <laughs> So, we got a lot of stuff coming up. What's the Star Wars series that just came out? Um, we didn't even watch it. I don't know. What it, was. it was some stupid name. Uh, I don't know. I don't pay attention. I know about Mandalorian and I know about that stuff, but I don't really know about it. Is it a cartoon? It's not no, the no, Bad no. Batch. It was another series. It was just some side series, though. Yeah, it was something dumb. Andor. Andor, Andor was the last one. Oh, so it's a prequel to a prequel. Yeah, correct. None of us yeah. watched it. It's a prequel to a movie where everyone died. Yeah. So, <laughs> so. None, of, none, of us, none of us said it, none of us showed any interest in it. Um, hey, have you watched more? This is going to be more of the next episode. But have you watched any of Carnival Carnival Row? I absolutely first, first season. I haven't seen anything yet. I've probably had to go and look into it. <laughs> It's on Amazon Prime. It's got uh, Bloom in it. Orlando Bloom. It's Orlando Bloom. So remember, he said about how he hates the one chick who plays in it. Mm. You said you hate the one actress who plays in it because you hate her face. I forget. Just because I like your face. <laughs> Let's look it up. It's a good show. It That's, is. It's, really it's good. a good show. Because you were like, I don't want to. Uh, Kara. Delavine. Yep, Cara Delavine. Oh my gosh, she's so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> she plays the Enchantress in the first Suicide Squad movie. Oh, uh, yeah. The belly dancing one. Like, oh, oh, God. Yeah. Ugh. It's, uh, she's, if you, if you can, she's not as bad of an actor as, like, as John Cena, but it's not like saying much. So, like, the one thing that is good about Carnival Row is it doesn't focus on one on one well that's good I, well I'll it'll, watch it'll, it'll I just, I just I'm glad it's an ensemble so I don't have to hear her talk that much yeah right. you mean you have to still hear her talk because she is one of the yeah, I mean, main characters yeah she's one of the main characters yeah she's just pretty and ha- what has a doesn't need to learn English that's the only thing good about her I guess <laughs> she has the same in, she has the same like tone of voice in everything she says it doesn't matter what it is so oh. whatever um, which one is which one is it? Cara Dela. Oh yeah, she's one of the main characters. No, uh, well, I might have to forget you're it. You're gonna then. have to hear her talk. <laughs> I'm gonna forget it. Now. <laughs> you don't get to skip out on this. It's either movies or a show. You don't get to skip out on everything. Yeah, you said I had ten. Uh, <laughs> listen, I, it's a good show. You don't have to hear her talk every episode. <laughs> it's a good show. I do like Orlando Bloom. Don't get me wrong. Oh, he's really good at it. I just. <laughs> He has a really good part in it. Yeah, he's really it's good. It's really good. It's a really good show. He's always been underrated. It's on Amazon I've... Prime, correct? Yes. Yeah, Amazon Prime. If anyone's listening, Amazon Prime, Carnival Row. It's a good show. Hey, hey, hey. This show is not sponsored by Amazon Get Prime. Get that crap out of your beard, please. He had peanut butter in his beard. <laughs> <laughs> so stop, stop promoting them. We're not sponsored by them. When, when they, We're when, not sponsored by anybody. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Gotta hold out hope. <laughs> oh, crap. We're gonna get the 45 uh, fans and then get a sponsorship. Okay. <laughs> Anything we're looking forward to? Five minutes left in the show? Uh, not really. Like, it's like we talked about everything we were looking forward to coming up in the year and. As a whole, I just don't see anything really breaking ground. Like, there's things I want to see, and I'm going to see, but I don't, I don't think it's going to be that no, ground. It's going to be a big year for movie shows. Because to be truthful with you, with the nerd community, it's usually one year's one way, the other year's next. So if it's a big year for video games, it's usually a lesser year for movies and cinema and vice versa. Well, I mean, we have that whole... <clears throat> I'm kind of interested. I'm kind of not interested. 
Just because they ruined chapter two of it. They got that. Oh, welcome, that prequel that they're the talking dairy. about. They got that Welcome to the Dairy coming out here. Yeah. On HBO Max. Yeah, I know. You're looking forward to that. If uh, What's that about? So it's. So if, have you read the It yeah. Uh, novel? Oh, yeah. Never mind. You guys talked about that before. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, I forgot what the town's called. Dairy. Because uh, <laughs> when I think of when I think milk. no when I <laughs> no when I think of when I think of dairy I think of Ireland. So um, there's a place called Dairy in Ireland. Okay. So if they follow the book, if if they follow its origins, yeah, I think it can be a good show. I think if they go and do all the major significant points of history and everything that happened with that, that would be a good show for them. Well, yeah, because they can go so far back. I mean, it, it went back to the, uh, they made, they, the they, Indians. And, and incidentally, they made about nine different stories that happened. I mean, it, well, yeah, even in the book, they have a bunch of different things that, like yeah, throughout history. Yeah, they, right. They, they talked about like, but they talked about like nine different things. So right. incidentally, it hit your nine yeah, episodes. Well, they can hit, yeah, well, yeah, right. They can hit everything if they really wanted. Yes. So, Will they? Probably not. Probably not, no. They're going to mess it up. I wonder if they're going to have uh, Skarsgård play Pennywise again. I hope. I guess but it's going to be they, the will same. Will they even use the clown It's the at same that point. directors. But will, they, will they even use the clown at that point? Or will they use the other stuff? Well, Did I mean, they even have clowns in the beginning? I mean, no. yeah. Like, that didn't happen until, like, later on. Yeah, the first, I don't, in the, the book, first iteration, really... he was, like, a giant bird that ate well, everybody. Well, no, that's, that just, was... that's just that one particular... But I'm saying each instance, there was, like, something else he was. Correct. I, it doesn't really say if he took a form of a clown or not. Yeah. It just says that the, the certain forms he took while he wreaked havoc... In the older days. Yeah, one was a bird. Right, one was a bird. Another the one, one was like a, a guy that was like started all the shooting when they had that big uh, shootout in the mobsters. Yep. He like started uh, everything. And then he had that, there was that kid, he was a werewolf, or no. Nah, some was, some kind of monster. Dog or something. Yeah. yeah. It was really weird. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. They don't really say that he took a clown form in the earlier in the earlier days, but I'm assuming that that's what they're going to keep their bases off of. Although I'd find, I would find it hilarious if it was like, I don't know, 1805 and there's a clown in it for some reason. Oh, well, I mean, you're going <laughs> mean, to you're gonna have, to have someone play Pennywise, right? Well, you can have the same actor play this, the, the old stuff and then the new stuff. It doesn't really matter. Well, well yeah, right. But Get that's Tim what Curry. I mean. I mean, they're going to have some. Tim Curry's not going to be able to. Isn't play he it. dead? No. No. He had like three or four He's, strokes. He's not. But that's what I'm saying. He had one big one. I, uh, <laughs> the equivalent of two or three small ones. <laughs> I just, no, I just heard he was, he was looking I good heard, there for a while. I heard he was laid up. That's all uh, I heard. Yeah. He was looking really bad in the uh, 2000, like he 2000, looked horrible, like 2015, oh, yeah. 2018. He looked horrible a few years ago. And then when they redid the uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show in 2018, 2019, he looked really good. Um, like for just, having his. He's not going to be able to play Petty Wise. Yeah, he can. He can no, he's not. He, just wheel him around. Uh, yeah, big dreams, bud. Put make him a giant puppet like a marionette. Let me Listen, I'm not. I'm not mad at Skarsgård playing. Petty no, Wise. I think he did a good job. I just think this, in the second one, it was just a, a horrible script. Yeah. So I think that they, he, they 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 did they they ruined it themselves. I think that he would be great as a Pennywise again, but. I I think you you have to have a Pennywise, right? You can't just have this random. Shape Ooh. shift. Feel, you know, like uh, every time you see him, it's a shape shift. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's almost time. Yep. Show, no, show <laughs> in the picture. Let me see. But I don't know when that yeah, is. Yeah, he can play. He can play Pennywise again. <laughs> yeah, he can. Sure. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So All you gotta do is put him in. in. Have, have a good night. It's eight o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah, have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to have this discussion right now. <laughs> 